greetings for all the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our channel Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definitions of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be talking about one of the matrices which is called as traceability matrix. Now traceability matrix is basically a mapping between the requirement and the test cases which is a very de common definition which everyone understands and relates to. But let me make it a little more clarified definition. It's a matrix or mapping between the test basis and the work product of testing. Now the basis could be anything. It's just not limited to requirement because we are saying traceability matrix and it could be between any two work product, right? For example, your test basis could be requirement, could be design, could be use cases, could be you know business models or any other thing which you are referring to derive your test cases, right? And all the, at the same time, your test work product could also be anything. It could be your test case, could be your test condition, could be your automation test script. So the point here is that you can derive your work products of testing from any of these test bases and mapping them together. Like what you derive from what is called as traceability matrix. And one of the good example of traceability matrix is requirement traceability matrix where Requirements are mapped to that of the test case which you have created in order to test the system. And the most important thing to understand here that why do we do a mapping? Why do we need a traceability matrix? And the answer is, it's very crucial for any team or test team to understand that how many requirements are converted into test cases at any point of time. Most importantly, you do this in the test implementation phase before getting started with the execution. The only reason to take care of this matrix is because we wanna make sure, have we converted all our requirements into test case? Is there any requirement which is yet to be converted into test cases or is there any such requirement where the test cases are not at all written? So with help of traceability matrix, you will be easily able to identify that if your test cases which are written are covering all the requirements or not. And this could be, you know, a two-way measurable. That means if you can want, you can compare your test cases with that of the requirement or requirements being covered in the test cases. So you can measure it either way to make sure that all your requirements are covered in test cases as a final check before you get started. This would avoid late conversion of your requirements into test cases and also will make sure that what kind of test coverage do you have for your requirements which are written. So. That's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have any other words like this which you would, what, would like me to explain or talk about, feel free to comment them below. I'm always here to talk about them and give you a better explanation to give you a better vocabulary on the technical side. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.